Welcome back. Series all tied. 1-1 here between EX and Strictly Business. Uh, not much to say about game two, except John and Spacely kind of control the tempo. Both entered double-digit kills. Uh, really good effort out of them. And that's going to keep them alive. Yeah, that ace by John, spectacular. Yeah. Especially considering the fights that he was having. It was all close quarters with that R5. I am mean, wondering if he's going to be doing that on Blitz, which especially on Freight, this is a four-sub four sub map. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely where you'll usually see four sub play. Uh, the split that I'd be interested in is how many vectors and how many MTARs. Uh, a lot of teams have been going 2-2 two, two or all four vectors. I think that's exactly what we have, 2-2 two, two out of SB and four vectors out of uh, the members of EX. So usually what that means, you can be a little faster paced if you're SB, a little bit quicker with those MTARs, not as much about being set up and pre-firing, um, or sorry, pre-zoomed. So this, we'll see how it plays out. Well. I'm watching John just because uh, he, you know, he was hot that last round. I guess I could go on to Methods. But it looks like Stain and Cosmo are already down. John's going to go down. Now it is time for EX to push up. Let's go ahead and see what accuracy is doing. He might be the first to cap. Yeah, you see what slide one through, and they still have two teammates flooding in the front side. Let's see if they can get some spawn kills there and maybe punch in another cap. But, you know, it's funny how the really the flow of Blitz has really changed recently. You know, it used to be something that was so much about, you know, communication, rotation, and defense, just to make sure, you know, you had your base clear before pushing out. But now it's just become who can score the fastest is a lot of what I've seen today, especially on the championship bracket side. Well, if you look at uh, how evil geniuses, I about said complexity. If, if you look <laughs> at how they've always said, they've said the best defense is a great offense. So I, I think they made it that way. And that is three down for EX. It looks like Strictly Business is pushing up. You, let's see who was up there. It looks like it's Stain watching the middle of the map. Yeah, John was able to get another three-piece there. He has really been playing so well. I know he's only four and three, but three pieces are so huge for giving your team the ability to get map control. One jumps over Stain's head, tries to turn around, but Snipe that will shoot him in the back. Well, it like, looks like Spacey is going to go down. Let's go ahead and see what Cosmo's doing as he's rotating on defense, his teammate's going to score. It is now 3-1 in favor of excellence. Yeah, you're getting a, really a team effort right now out of them. Uh, three different players on the board right now. Diabolic, 6-2, and two, watching this right side of white. Looks like there was one player going front white, one player up above him here. He's able to pick up that kill. Uh, actually ends up getting uh, Diabolic got a two-piece there. Cosmo got the last, so that was three down. Able to punch it. Another one's going to be a three-point advantage two minutes into this one. Diabolic absolutely doing some work. He's nine and two now. One cap accuracy has two caps, but Diabolic really clearing the way. And look at this spot. He's going to spot one player. Let's see if he can get another kill before he gets a cap. And he's just going to push up. Oh, God, I like the pre-fire there. Able to get one. He might have got both, but unfortunately he had to reload. He did clear the way, though, for his teammates to cap yet again. This is getting ugly early on. Only halfway through this one. Already a 6-1 lead. Nice two-piece out of snipe down. He's got one to his right and one coming to the stairs. We'll get cleaned up. Good defense there. Yeah, strictly business able to play defense good. But Diabolic, 14-4. and four. Just absolutely doing some work let's go ahead and give sb some love as we are they are going to be pushing up now i noticed their up downstairs was open their front doors open they really got to get through and get some app yeah control. diabolic is just a monster right now he's basically almost on pace for like 60 kills right now as he we're a little over halfway and he's 15 and 4 doing one hell of a job 7-1 lead right now for ex it has been all ex the first half of this game we'll see if they can keep it up well, and SB just in danger of losing everything right here. I mean, they're already down by six. They just got another cap, it looks like. But they're letting Diabolic just roam in white, and he is controlling the pace of the game. Yeah, you can be very, very dangerous. Once you get across that halfway point, get inside your opposition's buildings, you can really be just an irritating player. And we've seen Cosmo and Diabolic really doing a good job of that. Lead still at six, 90 seconds left on the board. And the killing slowed down a little bit, but Diabolic still at 17, making 18 and five. Well, let's go ahead and look at Snipe down. He's just in the back. He's going to make those players spawn in boxes, and you can see in Oracle mode, they just spawn there. But it's not going to matter. He's going to go in, get a kill and a cap. Snipe down also giving some work in. Yeah, this is a thrashing here on the first side, but we've seen some really big swings. I uh, was over in Alpha oh. earlier and did, uh, what was the series? Uh, I did Epsilon versus Curse AU, and I think it was a six-point lead going into the second half. They ended up losing by two. So we can see some really big swings on this map. We can, but Cosmo's saying, I don't want that to happen, even though he gets shut down. He had a two-piece a little bit ago. Snipe down, working the middle of the map. 
He has another player to his left working boxes. That's going to be accuracy. So let's see what Snipedown can do as he's going to push in, gets one kill, has two more people to go through. Wow, just heads up play there, waits for that, baits him out basically with the door, able to clean him up. I like this route around the backside. He gets a little lucky, the player jumps right in front of him and is able to get a second. Unfortunately, there is a third at home, so he can't punch in another cap. And strictly business, they might be able to get two or three kills, but there is still always that fourth player in the middle of the map not letting them get map control. Oh, I mean, pretty much this entire fight has gone down on Strictly Business' side of the map. They've had so much trouble even crossing the halfway point. John in a good position here to punch one in before the half. He will fire one through with five seconds left on the clock. I don't think there's one player left, I think, in position that might be able to score. He's going to have to kill several players right now. Not, not enough time. So 10-4 lead, six cap advantage here for EX in game three. It's Diabolic doing all the work, man. 20 and 10, but it's accuracy with all the caps. When he, five. I think he had 14, and the highest on the board outside of him was like five. Like, he just jumped out to such a big lead in the killing department early on in that game. And uh, on pace for a 40 and 20 game right now. We'll see if he can keep it alive. Yeah, we will start off with him as he will push up. And this is, this is a good spot if you want to clear the middle of the map, make sure nobody's in that Owens position where he's looking. Unfortunately, he's not able to get the kills. And that's four down quickly for EX. They're going to respawn, but not before Method's able to get a cap. Yeah, I think this side's a little bit easier for some teams to spawn kill. Personally, I think it's a preference thing. It's pretty balanced on either side. It just depends on how teams like to play it out. But uh, if this is a stronger side, for SB, I expect this one to be very, very close uh, within two to three caps once we get around that halfway point. So we'll see how this plays out. Well, Stainville just trying to be able to get a pick so he can move up. He and Spacely will do so. They get, are able to get three down again. You know, it just seems like this side might be the favorite side in all the turn. He just That just must have been a call out. Now he's just going to wait upstairs and see how many he can pick off. Yeah, this is such a scary spot he's in. He's really weak. It's going to be difficult to get a kill, but he can be such a pest up here. I mean, they're going to have to clear him out uh, before they're able to really get anything done. And uh, while we were watching Stain, it looks like one was able to get fired through here for EX. will extend the lead back out to five. Now snipe down in the power position. He's going to be get oh. one and the cap. Yeah, he lucked out there that you end up going through a few feet above the ground. Otherwise, he might have been in trouble, but he was able to fire that through. Six-point advantage, three and a half left to go in this game three. You know, I'm surprised he didn't want to stay up there and just try to, you know, slay, just kind of control that back half. Because to me, that's what you want to do when, when you're trying to cap on the Owen side. No, no, yeah, that... The spot he was in up top there is just so, so, so annoying. You can get a ton of kills and really just line the way for your teammates to go through. Snipe down, able to sneak one in, jump this lead out to seven. Uh, not, I mean, there is a lot of time left on the clock, but just the way this beginning of this game is played out, I just don't really see how SB is going to come back in this one. Especially with Diabolic being so on point. He has 27. Oh, almost 20, or no, sorry, 26. I thought he got a kill there. He must have got an assist. Yeah, but, he's, uh, been getting a, he's been getting a bunch of assists for his team, too, to couple with all of those kills. Accuracy is up top. There's no one in position to stop him. That's going to be another cap. Lead is up to eight here, halfway through the second side. It looks like the, an answer back from SB, but this lead's gotten to be so big. This is going to be a real huge uphill battle uh, for the members of SB to come back in this one. And Stipe now getting one more cap. And... Can't get anything on the defense. Let's go ahead and see what Methods is doing. Is he's going to play some defense, able to get the kill before the cap. That, that was a good feeling right there, just because he didn't cap it after he killed him. That's like yeah, I know. A lot of times you'll see both happen, kind of that trade with the cap and the kill. But uh, Methods is on defense. There's one that's wrapping around long ways, uh, and he got. He was just about to rotate back. Didn't see that he got that kill. So that will be another cap for EX lead back up to 7 17 to 10 just under two to go uh, just a quick look at the KDs I mean you can see why the score is where it's at uh, everyone outside of snipe down pretty hugely positive right now and snipe down has five caps to go with this yeah I mean 13 17 with five caps I would say is respectable I mean he, oh absolutely. nothing against him he's just trying to get caps Look at accuracy. Yeah, accuracy. He's slaying and getting caps. Having a freak game. I'll tell you what, guys. If you don't watch much Blitz, 
If you have double-digit caps in Blitz, you're doing something right. He's up to 10 right now, also positive 7. Monster game, which, I mean, as of right now, it looks like they're going to be sending strictly business to the loser's bracket. Yeah, I mean, with only, what is that, 72 seconds left? Uh, I mean, there's still time for SB to come into it and win, but the way Diabolic is playing, the way Accuracy is playing, they can just trade caps and uh, slay all day. Yeah, I mean, really, they could just, if they want, they really could just keep overextending, 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 and just try to trade to the best of their ability, because with this little amount of time left, I mean, I, I hate when you see teams try to turtle. That's the opposite of what you want to do. Just keep the pressure going, keep trying to trade caps. But uh, 45 seconds here left on the clock. It is a four-cap lead. They brought it back a little bit. Is anyone from SB in a position, really, to score right now? Uh, doesn't, doesn't look like it. This one's going to be out of reach in just a couple of seconds. Yeah, Spacely is the one who's the closest, it's, and it, it's, it. it's out over. right yep. now. So it does look like Excellence will be your winners of this round. I don't know who they're going to play next, but I'm sure it's going to yeah, be Yeah, I'll have match. to take a look. I believe this was winners round five. Uh, we're going to stay in winners round five for the next couple matches we're going to have on the feature station. I know I think we have Light or Optic Nation playing Wild, I believe, is the match coming up next. So we have a couple of good ones for you, along with uh, Rise Nation, Lightning Pandas, some big games coming up here. But as the final seconds tick away, ah, uh, God, I mean, you want to call it an upset, but the way they played, I mean, you couldn't argue that EX certainly is here to play and can hang with this top competition because really, I mean, outside of the S&D, they beat up SB a bit. Well, and they have players that are just great players, like Cosmo. I've been casting over him for a long time. Great player. And, you know, we talked about Snipe Downs, Halo Prowess, yep. one of the best players ever. Yep. Um, and the transition seems to be fairly easy. He hasn't been playing long, like he said. But, again, SB going to the loser's bracket. They're still in it. Yep. But excellence going on to the winners. Yeah, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, we will have another match coming up just shortly. We are going to hop to a quick commercial break. But from Spidey Fatty and myself, thank you and stay tuned.